Winter's icy grip continues this week. Fort Meade's Canadian yeast population, present all year round, probably wishes it had gone south this year. We had two systems come through this week with a forecast on Monday for more snow. As usual, go to our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash ftmead, for the latest installation status. Meanwhile, on this edition, Army Emergency Relief Campaign underway, leisure travel services to cut back hours. These stories and more, but first, the Army Soldiers Medal was created in 1926 for acts of heroism not involving actual conflict with the enemy. Last week, after almost four years, Defense Information School Instructor Staff Sergeant Stephen Doty was presented with a Soldiers Medal in ceremonies at DINFOS. This was the scene on May 3, 2010, a civilian contract helicopter crashed while making an emergency landing at Forward Operating Base Kalagoosh in Afghanistan's Nuristan province. Staff Sergeant Stephen Doty, currently a DIFOS instructor, then a member of a provincial reconstruction team, led the charge to rescue three civilian crew members from the still running helicopter. He climbed into the fuselage while fully exposed, feet from the still turning rotor blades, and created an opening to extract the crew. He also used his training to begin powering down the still running helicopter. For his heroic action, Staff Sergeant Doty was awarded the Soldier's Medal in ceremonies at DINFOS last week. The medal was pinned on by Doty's father, retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Timothy Doty. In his remarks, Doty reflected on his father's and mother's reaction to the incident. My dad and my mom, what a lot of people don't know, uh, is in the chaos. After I left the helicopter, I tried to shut it down. My dad's last deployment was to Afghanistan training uh, local Afghan National uh, Air Force in the Army how to fly these, these aircraft. So I actually called him, well, I called my mom, looking for my dad for emergency shutdown procedures. <laughs> now, I say this with all the love. I know they love me, but I'm a little, I look back and I'm a little upset because I call my mom, hey mom, a helicopter crashed, I'm trying to shut it down. Oh, do you want to talk to your father? <laughs> in other news, this year's Army Emergency Relief Campaign starts in March and runs through May 15th. While donations are always encouraged during the campaign, AER wants everyone to know if they need assistance, the funds are available. Here's Sergeant Major of the Army, Raymond Channel. This year's Army Emergency Relief Campaign is here, and it's important to remember that every contribution provides support for soldiers. Just as important, every soldier needs to know that it's okay to ask for this help. Sometimes the unexpected happens, like an unplanned bill or death in the family. When that happens, AER is there. If someone you know needs help, talk to your chain of command or check out your local AER office. Remember, AER is soldiers helping soldiers. Elsewhere, Corvius Military Housing, formerly known as PASERN, announced a partnership this week with the Army Wife Network. The AWN is a multimedia resource site for military spouses. Together, they're bringing the Field Exercise Battle Buddies program to three installations in 2014. The first will be held at Fort Bragg in April. Fort Meade will be a host in September. The program is a four-hour seminar designed to empower and rejuvenate military spouses. Here's a brief look at the Army Wife Network. It's time for the Army Wife Network Resource of the Week. Each week, AWN offers a review of a helpful resource for your Army family. Empower yourself with the knowledge of these resources and carry them in your rucksack as you go about your journey. Great information and helpful resources from your battle buddies, the AWN Core Team. Finally, a notice from MWR, the Leisure Travel Services Office has announced a change in operating hours. Due to staffing issues, Leisure Travel is temporarily adjusting its hours to Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The office will be closed on weekends. MWR will notify the community as soon as normal hours resume. Call 301-677-7354 if you have any questions. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.